music found me in a garage. I was listening to my a friend of mine play the guitar one time, and something about how the sound waves hit my body when he had it plugged into his amp, and I just had this, I don't know, this revelation that I needed to have a guitar. And uh, the sound of it and what he was playing, I had to reproduce this. So guitar was what essentially threw me into music and gave me uh, inspiration. In my career, I'm, uh, I work in fraud mitigation. On top of being a music producer, on top of battling post-traumatic stress syndrome from a lot of death situations. So those three things, I think, have kept me sane and allowed me to be who I am today. Right now, my studio is in my room. Um, I use Logic Pro X for most of my productions. I have a... Uh, a Korg keyboard. Um, I don't even remember the mic I'm using. I think it's a, it could be a Korg mic too. Um, of course, my Schecter Hellraiser guitar. Um, I have an acoustic guitar that I use as well. Um, a little bit of soundproofing, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty. It's pretty, pretty basic, but very expensive. <laughs> So it gets the job done, and uh, if we need to take things up a notch, we'll take it to a, a bigger studio. Who inspired me? This is a great question. I think I inspired myself at a certain point, because really there was nobody telling me to do music or to, to make music or to get a guitar or to start producing. This is all myself and how I interpreted music and how I wanted to basically play it back to the world. So I would say I'm my best inspiration. However, sometimes it's fine. It's hard to find the um, the go, the drive to want to continue and to believe in yourself. So I have to remind myself that I inspired myself originally to continue or to start music. Actually, it was my ex-girlfriend. She gave me a lot of drive and support as just being a human being someone who should be more than themselves. So the last song I created is called So Queen As You. I felt like nobody was so queen as her. That's why I called that song So Queen As You. So she was my last inspiration for music. Um, and that song will be coming out soon. So I'm pretty excited about it. Normally I, I, I will get myself into the mood and I like to start off, so if I'm in a, depending on if I'm in a bad mood, good mood, medium mood, I'll start off with the keyboard and just start messing around with some sounds as how I'm feeling. And then I'll mix in some, uh, some guitar if need be, and then uh, maybe some singing, some synths. So, but normally the keyboard kind of starts it off, kind of sets the tone. And it depends though too, I might just start with the beat. Um, if I hear a beat in my head, I might just lay that beat down because I don't want to lose it and then go from there. Ooh, most earliest influence. That's going to have to be 311. 311 is amazing. I mean, amber is the color of your energy. <laughs> so many songs, Sublime, Offspring. These, these sounds and these bands just, I mean, I'm an, I'm an alternative guitarist, but at the same time, I'm a multi-spectrum producer, so it just depends what comes my way, what I'm hearing, but it all started with alternative rock, and I gotta give it up to 311 Sublime and Offspring. Bam. <laughs> Ashley Cordelia. She's pretty amazing. She has an amazing voice, an amazing talent. She's very inspiring. She doesn't give up on her dreams. She knows how to push herself. She knows how to push others. What she believes in her heart is what matters, and that's to be the best version of yourself in what you do. So Ashley Cordelia. Our, our song that we're gonna be releasing is called Ancient Egypt. Uh, we inspired this on a blood moon uh, scenario. I think this was in 2021 when we had that blood moon, it was beautiful. And we just started collabing, creating, and it had this very ancient sound to it. 
with her singing in my production so we called it ancient egypt so look forward to that coming out soon current favorite song is one ashley just made <laughs> actually it is one ashley just produced and uh, created um which i what was the name hallelujah, hallelujah. so expecting to, to hear that uh Expect to hear that soon called Hallelujah from Ashley Cordelia. I'm really open to, so I don't have like a, a, an exact uh, particular absolute favorite right now because it's the music is so big and so amazing from all different levels. But yeah, so I'm going to go with Ashley Cordelia. Favorite place in my hometown. Ooh. I'm going to have to say Disneyland because I'm from Orange County. And uh, Anaheim is right in the back neck of my woods. So I feel like when you need to just get some happiness and some joy in your life, you need to go to Disneyland. <laughs> and that's really right in my back backyard. So Disneyland is, I'm going to have to say so. And I have only been there like twice, three times. But I just know it's one of my favorite places to be. I've seen music change people in a very positive way. Um, depending on what the song has to give, it, it kind of gives them that shift. So basically music is like a shift for your current state of mind. And whatever state of mind you are in, you just turn on a certain song and it kind of flip flops that state. Um, so, you know, if you're really depressed, you might want to turn on some happy music. If you're, if you're really happy, you might want to turn on some depressed music. <laughs> it just depends. So I think it's kind of a, a switch of state of mind and in a positive reflection of who you are favorite sound it's got to be the guitar an electric guitar with distortion pedal echo effect pedal delay and even just some smooth acoustic with some nylon strings um, the guitar is very dynamic it offers a lot and it sounds beautiful if you're playing the right notes and in key of course <laughs> Hmm, scariest sound. Hmm. Wow. I would say is no sound. Scariest sound is actually silence. It's not really a sound, but even within the silence, you got this stagnant white noise. And that could lead you to a very dark place, depending on how silent it is, I guess. So complete silence crunchiest sound potato chips potato chips are very crunchy right I mean it's like you can't chew a potato chip with your mouth open because everybody knows you're eating a potato chip so yeah crunchiest sound is a potato chip a really big guy that screams ah! high-pitched kind of like that I can't even do it myself so <laughs> don't take that for reference <laughs> but yeah a guy that can scream very very high pitched like a woman uh, it's pretty funny <laughs> best way to stay updated with what I'm doing is gonna be most likely my Instagram with Smitty Productions um, or um, on my YouTube Smitty Productions on YouTube which is S M I D D Y Productions um, or my email, which is the same, smittyproductions at gmail.com to keep in contact with me. Um, but I'm also on all platforms, uh, Spotify, iTunes, um, you know, all the, all the major platforms. So current plans from the future is to be one of the best known producer engineers in the world with Smitty Productions and my beautiful artist, Ashley Cordelia who is amazing, um, and also just be the best human that I could possibly be, spreading positive awareness of being okay with yourself and going through life at 100% and not giving up. And I think that's kind of my message is to show people not to give up, to believe in themselves, to go for their dreams, to complete their task, to never start without a finish. That's how we started the interview. I'm really happy to be alive in this current moment and to experience this 
2022 NAMP show. It's been amazing. Met a lot of amazing people. I would say um, never give up and uh, never stop chasing your dreams and uh, be humbled. <laughs>